The one thing with this release right here, Savette, um, the one thing that really came to mind to me when I first sniffed this fragrance was it brought me back to the good old days. I'll let you know a little more information coming up on Test Drive. <laughs> family welcome to take it a test drive this is where i test drive a scent prior to purchasing or forgetting about it i wear them from one to two wearings depending on the sample size and let you know my thoughts good bad and the ugly on a release from the house of zoologist so before i get into the meat and potatoes first and foremost please take the time to subscribe and hit that bell bing so you can keep tabs on yours truly and be one of the first to check out my new content. I'm also all over social media. You can follow me on all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. You can find me with my YouTube handle, Robes08. Talking about social media, talking about Facebook. Yes, I have a Facebook page just for me, myself and I, but also I have a Facebook group, uh, which I share with 17,400 other members. It's called Fragrance Guru Nation. And what we do is we talk about new releases, fragrances, buy, sell, fragrance reviewers. Uh, people post their stuff on there online. They swap, they split fragrances. It's really a great place for somebody that's deep into this hobby like myself. So join us today. Now on to today's video. Um, no secret to you, you've clicked on it. You saw the thumbnail and you saw the title. So we are talking about Savette today by the House of Zoologist. Um, this little sample here was given to me uh, by the brand I actually have the whole sample kit absolutely um, looking forward to testing these one by one as you know or may not know uh, I got this sample set and I decided to delve into some of the, the, the stronger ones the crazier ones the t-rexes the bats um, the high raxes of the world and I bought bottles now we're on to the ones that I didn't buy bottles uh, because maybe I didn't didn't want to spend too much. <laughs> I went three deep. I was like, that's enough. Slow down. And this was the next in line I wanted to try out. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Animalix, uh, Civet Castorium, to name a few. And this one, of course, it utilizes the Civet here. You got the Civet Cat as uh, your your animal here from Zoologist. So I was really looking forward to it. Even looking at the note breakdown here, uh, Civet is in there of course uh interesting note of coffee which is tied to the civet cat so very very interesting there it also uh was one of the finalists in 2017 for the art and olfaction awards so um really a fragrance that is well known in our fragrance community tons of fragrance reviews i'm kind of late to the party but that's standard with me so let's take a look under the hood for some stats on this one our release date was back in 2016. Concentration, this is an extrait de parfum. Uh, the nose behind this is Shelly Waddington. Um, uh, with the House of Zoologists, I'm finding out that these are names that uh, are not, I wouldn't say not all star perfumiers because I don't want to put uh, soil on their names. Um, actually, I'm very interested in every single one of these noses that are doing great releases for the brand. I mean, it really is making me, not only am I discovering the brand of Zoologist, but I'm also discovering new noses for me. Um, so I'm, I'm double excited about this brand. So now let's get into, of course, the meat and potatoes of Savette. Now the major notes to my nose with this particular fragrance, uh, you'll see that uh, one of them is missing, which is Savette. Uh, the major notes that I got out of this, a, a lot of florals out of this particular fragrance, tuberose, carnation, to name a few, uh, also oak moss in the backbone of the fragrance. So let's get into sniffing. Um, Savette is my scent of the day today. Um, I've worn this for a few days. Um, I'm almost done my little sample. I'm actually going to remind me of this introduction. I'm gonna put it in the back of my hand here. I'll put some on my neck and I'll give some to the fragrance community. We don't have much left in this little sample. So, uh, Savet. So let's let's talk about this opening. This opening right now, very um, very interesting. It brings me back to the good old days. Uh, the opening of Savet uh, brings me to the days of the sheep <laughs> back in the '80s. Um, it has a citrus opening bergamot, orange, lemons with some herbal tarragon here and some kick of uh, some pepper here. So very, 
a very interesting opening, an opening that I've seen a lot before um, with the citruses, the herbal take and a little bit of a spicy kick. Now, backboning that, uh, we have a bed of florals, mainly tuberose, ylang ylang, hel heliotrope, uh, we have carnation, linden blossom, among others. So some noses may gravitate towards are really just the floral aspects here. Now the floral aspects give you, they're uh, multi-dimensional, they're really 3D. Um, they are, I would say, the star of the show of this particular fragrance, not really the civet. It's more about the florals here. It's got a powdery take from the heliotrope. It's got a sweet take a little bit. Um, there's some creamy take here from some of the florals. There's an ambery, balsamic, resinous sweetness quality throughout the scent itself. So it has some backbone. There is a little bit of a pinch of animalics here that kind of gives it a little bit of oomph, a little bit of ooh, you know, um, that's what I like to smell. But at the same time, this introduction, even though very complex, very interesting, up my wheelhouse, um, I felt that I was actually very, very surprised. And, and again, um, these are things that, you know, zoologists, even though it's animal based, um, as far as the I idea of this particular brand, um, you know, thinking Savette, I was thinking that I was going to get something raunchy, a little more crazy as far as the anabolics here. Very much blended well. Um, I'm not going to poo-poo on the anabolics, pun intended, but I, I was surprised of the lack of them or the oomph of them in this introduction because zoologists, of the ones that I have tested out, the T-Rexes, uh, the bats, um, and of course, high raxes of the world. I mean, it really felt like they were, they had a really big, bold, crazy opening. This one did not have it. It had your standard sheep uh, opening with the citrus herbal take, and then it goes more into a floral base and then an oak moss green uh, base of the fragrance. So very, very much a um, DNA did not go a little too crazy here, but very, very nicely done. Um, so let's get into more of the heart of this fragrance. Now I've described a lot of the heart because a lot of the florals pop off on this uh, heart here. You're gonna lose, of course, the steam of the citruses more into the heart. Um, there's not much movement. I wouldn't say there's there's much movement in this particular fragrance. Once you start getting into uh, the first half hour to 45 minutes of this fragrance, you're gonna start seeing what you're gonna get for the rest of the fragrance. It's quite dense as a scent. It loses just a little bit of pages here once we start going on. Um, it's warm, slightly sweet. It's very much musky. It's slightly animalic. Uh, the leathery tones come in. Of course, they work very well with, uh, of course, the oak moss. Um, there's a mossy feel to the fragrance and there's a woody take in this fragrance. So there's a lot going on in Sevet. Um, it's one of those that one sample um, it's not one of those that hit it and quit it. It feels like one of these fragrances that I feel that I should get a secondary sample. Um, I know what I'm getting out of this one, but I feel like I'm missing a lot of the what the florals were giving me. So uh, really interesting. Uh, the resins here are your bed, of course, with a classic oak moss vintage feel to the fragrance. The leather works well with, of course, this idea, um, just like a lot of the classics back in the 80s with the leather and the oak moss. Um, so it was well done here. The florals, in my opinion, are the big, the big star of the show the big interesting part of the show of Savet. Um, the florals give you many facets. Um, they intrigue me quite a bit in this release. Um, I know there's a lot of, of, of course, this whole heart is full of florals. Um, I'm trying to remember what other fragrance from Zoologist had a bunch of florals and I didn't feel, I think it was T-Rex, I didn't feel any florals. And then this one, I really do. So I didn't really know it was a crapshoot. I was like, well, am I gonna get all these florals or not? Um, a lot of things that I did miss in the base notes, of course, was the coffee. I didn't get much of that. Labdanum, I got some of that. Oak moss resins, yeah. Russian leather, of course. Vanilla, yes. Um, but there is some, of course, that coffee. I missed that. Uh, but again, the florals are the one that intrigued me the most. Um, and I feel like if I got another sample, that would be the one thing that I would try to pinpoint and uh, dissect a little bit more. I think I got most of what was surrounding these florals, but the bulk of it was the florals in here. Not saying this is overly 
feminine as people say you know florals these are some of the heavy hitters in here it really is darkened it really is the sheep de genre uh, with the greens the oak moss um, of course uh, the uh, ambery take the leathery touch um, so don't get me wrong when i'm starting to talk about florals is a big part of this show i mean it really is a lot of the blend here um, going either side men or women but if your nose is really there's you know it's I wouldn't say this is an overly feminine fragrance. Definitely not. Um, overall, well blended and excellent composition from the house. And that's what I come to expect from this house now. Now let's get into a revolver where I'm gonna talk about seasons, day, night, versatility, and of course the oh so important performance. So let's get into it, seasons. Um, Savette, I felt like a lot of people were saying, you know, this is a winter-based fragrance. I guess maybe just because I'm in Canada. Um, yeah, I could see it, of course, in winter, but I feel like this is a more of a darker tweener. Um, you know, when I talk about tweeners, fall and spring, they're kind of middlemen of fragrances. They're not overly dark, but they're not, you know, super thin for summer. They're just right in the middle. And they're really, this, I feel like this would shine in the fall, but also a really cool spring night overcast type of spring. Um, I feel like it would make these florals pop even more, make the leather real good. Um, the greens also would pop off a little bit in this fragrance. So very interesting. I feel like more of a heavy tweener. Um, day or night, this fragrance would have to be more of a nighttime scent. Um, I can wear this casually day or night, but I feel like more of a nighttime setting would be great for this one. And that goes to versatility. Um, Savet, as far as the name goes, you know, it's not a big animalic scent, big, bold, raunchy one, um, which would give versatility a big thumb down. Um, this one, I feel like it would be fairly... I would say maybe a little lower than average um, as far as wearability, depending on where you live and things like that. It may be a little lower on that scale of versatility. And now goes to performance where a lot of these zoologists uh, do very, very well. And Savet uh, did well on my skin longevity with eight to 10 hours any given wearing. Um, the two to three wearings that I wore this fragrance, it was really good. It was pushing well, eight to 10. And the projection was fairly average. I didn't feel like this scent was a bomb per se. Um, some of the zoologists that I've tried out were bombs. Um, this, I wouldn't say it would be. It, it did last, but the one thing with projection, it really kind of fizzled a bit uh, towards the back end of the fragrance. So now, what do I feel as the outro of the fragrance? How did I feel about this fragrance? Do I feel like I'm going to purchase this? Um, I don't know. Honestly, for me, I was really excited about this release. I, I really was. Um, and this is my personal take is that there was not enough animalics here. Um, it wasn't raunchy enough for me. Um, I was kind of excited looking at the note breakdown, you know, Russian leather, coffee, incense, labdanum, civet, balsams. There's a whole bunch of florals, of course, as you know. It was more about the top notes and the heart notes and a little bit of the base notes, but not the ones that I felt were the ones that I really wanted to push here. Um, so to me, it is well done. It is complex. It, it's exactly what I was expecting from the brand of Zoologist in regards to quality. But as far as set goes, my mind is not going through it and going, this is a must buy for me. So I need to skip a few of these. I may return to this one. I feel like this is one of these that I'm, I am going to return to. Uh, not bottle worthy for me personally right now, but as an artistic set, it is very interesting. Um, I will get another sample. I'm probably guaranteed that I'm gonna come back to it. I do this with a lot of brands that just come back to it. And I think this one may be bottle worthy later on um, uh, because I, I love scents like this that have many layers to them. And I really do appreciate this one. A well done sheep, in my opinion. As always, the attention to detail with the brand is bar none. Um, things that sneak up to you, like the note breakdown, they throw in coffee as a note. By the way, I didn't get any coffee while wearing the set at all, but it was interesting with, of course, the note of coffee with the attachment of the civet cat. So it was very interesting to see that in the note breakdown. I uh, wouldn't expect anything less from, of course, uh, Victor. So very interesting. I feel this is a modern take, all the while taking uh, me on a trip back to the 80s. Um, I really feel like it was one of those that brings me back it's a modern take. It was very well constructed and it 
didn't go, you know, dated. It didn't go too crazy in the 80s. So I feel like it was well, well, tastefully done uh, as uh, an 80s scent, I feel. So if I had to give it a score from one to 10, as I always do with samples, um, it would have to be a solid eight bottles out of 10 out of me. Um, I wasn't blown away like some other ones that I, I purchased bottles immediately, but an eight out of 10, very solid on my channel. Now that you heard my take on Civet, I'm done. Now it's your turn. Comment below, let us know what you guys think about this uh, particular fragrance, good, bad, and the ugly. I'd love to hear your take. As always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your set wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.